Hey, Natalie, are you still living with your parents? Stop bothering them like you do to me. Start being independent like I am. Sis, are we talking about this again? I'm working right now. And you are on Instagram while I'm at work. Can you please stop? Is it too much to ask after all the trouble you've made for mom and dad? This is why middle school graduates are so annoying. Why don't you learn from me? Here we go again. Stop with the attitude. Unlike you, I'm a college graduate. I've already found my next job. Ah, yes, the seventh career change in a row. Either way, they see my pretty face and features and they immediately know. No experience and I go home with 180,000. I finally found a company that knows what it's looking at. It feels great. On payday, I'll give you a little something. No thanks. You're being so thick-headed. As a middle school graduate, you are nothing compared to me. Like what, 100K? You'll never be independent with that. Jeez, I have such a disappointment of a sister. Hope nobody finds out. What do you really want? I'm really busy, so if you don't need anything, can I go? Wait a sec, I've actually got a great news for you. Huh? Our company's performance has been growing as well as our staff, and we're still hiring. I don't know if they would hire a middle school graduate, but I thought I could help you out with some of my charm. How's that? I bet it pays more than what I earn. I'm sure of it. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks, sis, but I'll pass. What? I just came with a great offer. Hand it over on a silver platter and you say no? You're insane. I'd rather work and live off my parents. That might be easy, but how long do you plan to live like that? For how long? I appreciate the gesture, but at my current job, I'm busy enough as it is. And an offer coming from my sister means she's the one most like to be in charge. She doesn't like being at the bottom and wants someone lower than her. You've always been like that, haven't you? You've always been like that. Ugh, whatever. I'll bet you'll regret this later, so I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, bye. Stop slacking, sis, and get to work. I don't need you to tell me what to do. You're the one who's always been needing that. Hope you enjoy your life on minimum wage. Nat, I finally got my first paycheck. I'm sure you don't usually get a good meal, so what would it be? My treat. It's your first paycheck, right? Why don't you save up? You should. Hmm, you really are something. Maybe I should send some money back to mom and dad. They're already struggling on their pensions. And just your poor salary, right? I'd hate to see them starve to death. You know what, sis? I'm getting tired of you and your smart-ass comments. It's really annoying, but if you're so worried, why don't you come visit once in a while? It's only an hour away from you, and you haven't visited in the last five years. I'm sure if you came home right now, you wouldn't have a thing to worry about. I'm sure of it. I've been too busy to visit. This gal has a lot of friends and lots of places to be. And blind dates, I presume. Hey, that's not all. Sorry. I'd go visit our parents' house, but it's old and shabby. I'd rather go home than visit there. It's so embarrassing. I don't deserve to be in a home like that. All the school dropouts coming and going from that house. It's perfect for you, though. Ugh. That's enough. What? Why don't you search online for our house and search an aerial view of it? That should calm your nerves down. Why go through all that trouble to look at that dump? Forget it. It's only going to make it worse. Well, that's that. Shouldn't you be worrying about your own life? Uh, I mean, you haven't been slacking off too much, have you? What are you talking about? Someone as good as me deserves to slack off a little. You just got hired and you're already saying that? If 
if you get fired, well, I don't know. Don't you worry about me. I don't even know what you do for a living. You're the one who needs to start getting their shit together. I'm a college graduate. Hey, Natalie, what the hell is going on? Where are you? What, what happened? Unbelievable, mom and dad's house is gone. Don't tell me they sold it. If they were so desperate for money, why didn't you tell me? They didn't even ask me about it. Oh, so you finally visited? You asked me to, and I thought I should. And yet, when I came back, my parents' house is gone. Where's mom and dad? Tell me where you guys live right now. Um, no, because it's my house now. What? How? All I see is a huge mansion where their house was. Explain. Yeah, well, the house needed some remodeling, and so we did. Huh? And who paid for it? I did, sis. There's no way someone should build this mansion on a middle school graduate's salary. You didn't go and get into any debt, right? I hope you didn't. Nah, you know I wouldn't. If it's really their house, why isn't anybody answering? Nobody answers the door. I knew it wasn't theirs. It's just really bad timing. You never called anyway. Mom and Dad are on a spa vacation. And I'm on a business trip. Huh? Where did you get that kind of money? What's with this business trip? My company decided to establish a branch overseas. I'm going to visit and oversee its operations. Your company? Yes, my company. I'm the president. Huh? You know, the company you work for? What? Th this is ridiculous. Dear sis doesn't even know what company she works for. Check out our website. You'll see my face on it. How is a middle school graduate my boss? I've been trying hard for a long time. I taught myself a lot along the way. I mean, everybody's always saying that I never finished high school. I never got the chance to go to high school in the first place. It's your fault I didn't, isn't it? Eh? My dear sister took the liberty of using my tuition money and spent it on her graduation tip. Isn't that right? Oh, did I? No, no, we're okay now. What do you mean, President? Just the way it sounds. I started a business. I did. How? It was really hard, but I got help from an aunt. She's a real go-getter, hard worker as well. That's how it started. Didn't our aunt tell you to interview for this job? And you were hired, right? Uh, yes. You've been struggling to find a job, so mom asked if I could help you and send some money, maybe. Right? If not, she had no choice but to take you in again. So we talked and decided about it. Oh, mom. I didn't even want her to find out. Can we talk about it? No, I'll be sending you money. Yes, I will be sending you money. What? How about that? My sister, who I always bullied, is now sending me money and also gave me a job. Mm -hmm. And just for your information, you're still on trial period. Oh, y yeah. Reports are coming in that you've been slacking off lately and that you have a poor attitude towards younger employees. Oh, um, that's... Age doesn't matter. These are all seniors in the company you work for. Make sure you learn from them properly. If you don't change your attitude, your contract won't be renewed. Yes, I apologize. My sis Diana depending on me, who she always made fun of and bullied. Now she's the one who's changed her attitude. She's finally working and matured. I think this was great medicine for her.